funny. The first uh, the first time I played music was, uh, or the thing that inspired me the most to play music early in my life that I can remember is uh, there was a spinoff of 90210 called The Heights, and uh, it was starred uh, Donna's boyfriend, and he was the leader of a band, uh, and they had that song. How do you talk to an angel? No, 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 no. How do I hold her close to where you are? No, 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 no. Remember that riff? No. Um. <laughs> and uh, bad cop. She was a good cop. Really. I was not allowed to. Work and uh, that was... yeah, they bought me uh, an acoustic guitar, a uh, classical guitar, and uh, that was the first first step. Uh, I've been singing, I think as soon as I could make sounds uh, come out. Um, I sing a lot with my mom growing up, sang along to Michael Jackson songs, dancing in my playpen. I said his name before I said mom or dad, I'm pretty sure, so. And it's a scary night in Oakland, I need to be alone. Peek up my shoulder, see that I'm not alone. And I'm so broke, I can't. Uh, we met in college. I on was a, move in day. On move in day. That's right. I was a bullsman and she was a sterny, right? But you were. Now she, everyone's gonna know. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we should edit that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. We met in the dorms at UC Berkeley. For sure. Um, yeah, and it's on uh, a roof. And some mixer. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah. Oh, this is all Flashing back. Yeah. And uh, yeah, she had a great voice. I wasn't really doing musical stuff then. Um, I was trying to figure out how to do it. I sort of like really have ownership of the project, and I'm you know I'm trying to be clear about collaborating. And it's what's doing it that way rather than some of the other bands I've been in. It's been really successful, and it's it's so for me. I uh, my goals are to uh, play a really great set or many sets at South by Southwest, um, get a song license, that would be a really big one, um, that would be a good one out there, and uh, you know, in a, in a movie or TV show, and then to have uh, either, you know, in, in any incarnation, me or Kia, um, either me alone or me with her go uh, international, uh, travel uh, internationally. For me, I think, uh, you just have to have a clear vision, like you, like you said, a clear set of goals. And you really have to kind of break it down uh, as far as like what those, yeah, what, what you need to do to get to that thing and, you know, set reasonable goals and then achieve them and then celebrate and really enjoy it. Um, I think another thing is just having more fun, and, you know, and like kind of letting, letting go a little bit and if you're, and not stressing about uh, every little detail of the performance because that's not what the audience experiences. I think it's I think that's probably key. Just focusing on like the audience and what they get from it, and rather than this sort of tortured singer like thing. Yeah. The hardest part about making music is that I can't make music all the time. <laughs> That is that's the hardest the, thing about making that's music. That's the only thing um, that I would change. Um, the tough parts are a benefit. The really good parts, like the gravy parts, are a benefit. Um, I just wish I could spend all of my time making music. Um, but, I mean, aside from that, recording can be challenging. Um, as, as me, especially if you're not a band that records a lot, that can be just sort of a different environment to be in. Um, I'm definitely looking forward to recording more of the stuff that we've done as parents, as a unit. Um, I think that'll be helpful for us. Yeah, too. it'll be really fun. Yeah. Both. But the 
Yeah.